uh, chess lovers. So we're in here and I have another very interesting chess puzzle for you known as the Chinese Wall. This puzzle was composed by a Hungarian electrical engineer and chess composer Otto Blasi, first published in 1928. White to move and win the game. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, as you can see, white has four extra pieces, but because of the fact that white pawns have like imprisoned their own pieces, this is going to be extremely difficult to realize the advantage. But luckily, there is a very cunning strategical idea with the help of which white is managing to win the game. First, white needs to bring his rook on h file. And then on h5, then sacrifice the rook on g5 square, come near with his king, free his knight, and then easily win the game. Of course, all this sounds very easy, but from a practical point of view, there are some underwater stones which you have to take into consideration when trying to solve this puzzle. Now, let's see how all this goes in action. First, white needs to activate his rook, that's why white is playing bishop c1 and king f6. This king is hurrying towards the b5 pawn in order to protect it. By the way, black can't capture on h6 because after king b2, king g6, rook a2, this rook is coming on b5 earlier and is managing to win the pawn on b5 and the game is over. That's why after bishop c1, black is playing king f6. Actually, during all the rook maneuver, it will be very important not to allow black to win this pawn on h6 square because in that case, black will play h6 and there will be no way to win the game. King b2, king e6, now white will bring his rook on b5 and king c5, black is protecting the pawn on b5. Now comes rook b4, freeing the b2 square for the bishop and white is bringing his bishop on a1 square in order to free the first rank. Meanwhile, black king is making random waiting moves king c6, rook b2, king c5 and rook c2, white king is supporting white rook in order to activate it and king d6. Of course, capturing on c2 square is not a good idea because already in that case the Chinese wall is broken and white can easily win the game. Here is one of the possible lines how white can win the game. The knight is getting activated and then a waiting move and then c4 check and the game is over. Let's go back, that's why after rook c2, black is playing king d6, black will never accept the rook sacrifice during this maneuver. King g1, king d6, king h2, king d5, rook e1, king e5 and bishop b2, a very important waiting move with this beautiful bishop b2 move, white is keeping away black king from this h6 pawn, king d5. And once the king is on d file, white is gaining a precious time to bring his rook on h file. And after king g6, white plays rook h2 and the pawn on h6 square is protected. I have to mention again that if you allow black to win this pawn, then in that case black can play h6 and there will be no way to win the game with the white pieces. King f6, rook h5, king g6. Now this white king is coming near and finally we see a rook sacrifice on g5 square. The Chinese wall is broken and the rest is easy. The white army will intrude inside black's camp. g5, king g6, g4 and then white is freeing his knight and the game is over. There is not much black can do. This is an easy win. Another very interesting and creative chess puzzle by Otto Blathy. I really like typical chess puzzles and as I've already noticed, this type of puzzles are actually managing to raise a lot of interest. By the way, if you want to torture your engine, then you can test it with this puzzle, though engines will give white a huge advantage, but as you know, engines are extremely bad in developing strategical ideas and they will fail to solve this puzzle. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you and for more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.